one thing I love about Cubase that I think is probably still where it has superiority over almost all DAWs is the very audio functionality. Um, and I'm constantly surprised by people who come in here, even other producers or artists that are very experienced with DAWs, they're always impressed with Vario Audio and how easy it is to tune things, uh, move words around. Uh, <clears throat> I haven't, I mean, I haven't seen anything that's quite got the combination of features that it does, um, at least not in built into a DAW, and I find that's, yeah, people are, are pretty amazed by that. I think, um, you know, a, a trend in vocal production um, that I've seen is people simply run all the vocals to a group and run an auto-tune style plug-in on that group. And I guess just let it do um, what it does. You know, it'll fix some things and it won't fix other things. Um, I've always thought that's kind of lazy and kind of inconsistent and you just don't know what you're going to get. And, you know, I think you'll often hear a lot of tuning artifacts that personally I'm not comfortable with putting out. I think things, there's no, I think there's no reason, especially with uh, Vary Audio and things of that nature where you can manually edit the tuning. There's not really any excuse to have any auto-tune artifacts on a vocal these days. You can make it sound very natural. Um, so I wouldn't ever use an auto-tuning type software. I think that it just, it's simply too inconsistent. So. Um, I find Very Audio is really, really handy in that way. Um, I've used this a lot. Um, I guess um, one of the first, one of the, one thing I often do first, well, is I will grab everything, and I will simply quantize the pitch, which I guess a, I guess is a form of auto tune. But I just know that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move every one of these things to its closest note. The other thing that you generally have to do, um, you know, it's not a failing of um, Vary Audio, but it's something that you need to be aware of, is it will treat something like this as one note, which is effectively two notes. So you've got to go through and you need to just chop where that scoop happens and then move those two notes individually. So that's something I often do. Um, but I guess I've been doing this for so long, I can effectively do it by eye. This is also kind of where your music theory um, uh, knowledge is going to come in handy. Like if you know what key you're in, you can automatically, uh, you know, know when something is not in key. Like for example, I know that this song is in C major, uh, therefore I can see that these notes are basically, well, I'll have to hear them, but they're most likely to be right. Um, whereas something like if I go over here, Okay, I see this one's drifting up to an F sharp, um, which I know is not in C major, so therefore I kind of already know that that's either got to be a G or a um, or an F. So you don't care if it hurts. So I actually know that that's not the right melody. It's actually meant to be down here. You don't care if it hurts. Shoot me down with your words, just as long. The thing is about Vario Audio that I, th I think I've, I've used it so often it's um, become quite regular is sometimes you'll change the melody as you go because it can be so um, invisible. You can just go, well, you know what? You don't care if it hurts. You might, hmm, is that a better melody? You know, I'll do that quite often. You don't care if it hurts. And it's surprising how often we've changed the melody because I've put the Vario Audio to the wrong note. And the vocalist has gone, hey, wait, I like that. Maybe that's better. Um, and you'll go on from there. I'll As show you something. Heard again and again. So I find it's also great for smoothing out vibrato. Um, this is something that, you know, you've got to do with the right sort of taste. And generally, part of the reason I keep a screen in my vocal room where vocalists are recording is so they can see what I'm doing. I don't do, do this process after the fact, I do it with them. Once we've chosen our takes, I'll actually tune this while they're there and I'll say, okay, this note here, and your 
Now that vibrato sounds fine, but maybe we want a little less. And your stones. Maybe we want less than that. Stones. So you kind of can just decide with the vocalist, do you want to even that vibrato out, make it a little tighter or not? 